All right, welcome back. So I'm, I'm a member of the Olight group on Facebook, um, and a lot of people have been talking about the i3T. I have a couple of these. This one's brand new, never even opened it. Uh, these type of lights aren't my thing. I typically carry something around a thousand lumens or, or higher. Um, but this being 180 lumens takes a double, or I'm sorry, takes a triple A. This is a 10440. I got uh, four of these from Amazon for about $11. Jess Powell is the name, uh, 350 milliamps. But the, the thing is, they're 3.7 volts instead of one and a half volt. So people are saying you can get upwards maybe four or 500 lumens out of this. Um, I've only seen one video on YouTube. Guy was doing it and it, noticed, it was noticed to be brighter. But I'm going to also show it on the i3E and the i3UV. And uh, See how much brighter these are. I haven't tested them, so if they blow up in my hand, you're going to be the first to see it. Uh, also, we're going to compare it to the 150 lumen IR2. So let's go ahead and back the camera up in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and open this up for you and show you that everything is working. If this is uh, nice and bright, then I might carry it. I like the red. I will say it is a small light. This first time I've ever actually held one brass tail switch there you go I guess you can see it there that's high put in let's see if there's about the same size uh, the 10 440 may be a smidgen higher maybe a sixteenth of an inch Quite a bit brighter. Uh, they people did say that you got to watch out. This will heat up and possibly melt the lens. So let's go ahead and uh, turn the lights off and get a beam pattern. All right, I adjusted the camera to about what I see. This on the left is the IR2. On the right is going to be the uh, I3T. 180 lumens on the right, 150 on the left. You see a little difference in brightness and color. I3T is a little uh, more like a neutral. All right, it's so 150, 180. All right, I'm going to swap the battery out in the I3T with the uh, 10440. Okay, on the left is the IR2. On the right, I3T with the uh, 10 440 battery very big difference you can see just by side by side the big huge difference so IR2 I3T then when I take the uh, IR2 away you really don't see a difference I wouldn't say it's uh, Maybe two, two and a half times brighter. It's a big noticeable difference though. Here's the uh, I3T on low compared to the IR2. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's comparable just on low. But then you put it on high and it's a huge difference. IR2 on the left, I3E on the right. So you got 150 on the left and 90 on the right. You can see a big difference. You got your 90 in the middle, you put the IR2 and it just dwarfs it. So I'm going to change the battery out of the uh, I3E. Once again, IR2 on the left. I holy crap. That's wow, that's a big huge difference. So supposedly 50, or I'm sorry, 150 on this side, this is supposed to be 90. Just changing out the battery until it it's over, well over double. And I'm not I'm not BSing you. That's this this little sucker right there. Yeah. 
huge difference. 150? Well over 200. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little, little, little warmth in the flashlight, but really it's... I wouldn't say it's excessively hot. I'm going to definitely have to keep this, uh, this battery and this flashlight. I might even just change it out and start carrying this one again. Because I've been carrying the uh, IR2. Alright, I want to try the UV light now. Alright, so here's the UV. I'm not sure the lumen output on this thing. Back it up to five feet. Put it right dead center of the flag. You can see if it does go off to the left, it might be harder to tell on the uh, don't tread on me. Now let's swap out the batteries. Just changing out the, uh, the battery to the 10440. Holy crap. Look at that. The camera even has had to adjust for it. Wow. That's ridiculous. It really is. It lights up the whole flag now. I'll get closer. So if you guys use this uh, little UV light for like finding scorpions and stuff, yeah, just, just change out the battery. I'm not sure about heat. I'm going to leave this thing. Oh yeah, I can feel it's getting a little warm. Yeah, the, the head's getting a little warm, not too bad. Uh, just, you know, keep an eye on it. You don't have a, a low and a, a high setting for this little light, so. But really, this makes a world of difference just for changing out a battery. All right, I'm going to go back up top and give my final thoughts. All right, so what's your take on the whole 10440 battery uh, mod? Everybody calls it hot rod in your O lights. Well, it will void warranty if it destroys anything. If it overheats, they're going to know for a fact if you send one of these in with a melted uh, lens or even the i3T with a melted lens, you swapped out to the 10440 battery. This being a pocket flashlight, that's where I keep my main flashlight. This would have to be something I'd have to carry at work. Uh, something small, even though I carry the S1R2 and it's smaller and you know over twice as bright. For um, maybe keeping in your car, something like that. But being a primary flashlight, that's why I kept this one boxed up so, so long. I had no intentions of wanting to carry it. It's just not bright enough for me. But if it is for you, hey, I mean, just do it. Uh, it will avoid warranty. I'm telling you, if you send this sucker in with a melted lens, they're going to know what you've done. I was especially surprised by what it did to the keychain lights. Uh, well over double the lumen output of just on this little sucker. But my main issue with this light, the head falling off, but I carry this for, I don't know, whenever it went on, I got this through the Olight Elite. So whenever they did the uh, the $5 free flashlight up until they did the $5 free, uh, I keep forgetting this model, the IR2. That's when I switched over to the IR2. You know, you just want something small, you put your key, that way you can put your keys in your, your door. This is the number one light I think that battery performs in. It's just insane by how how well it works now. Uh, but you know, if you blow up the diode or or the circuitry, it's on you. So this is just a video for people mainly on the uh, the Olight uh, Facebook discussion group wanting to see uh, the kind of performance you can get. And I've only seen one video on uh, YouTube and a dude shooting the flashlight like 15, 20 feet away maybe farther. This five foot is more of what people want a flashlight for. It's alright. We'll be seeing you.